My case is a case for all, justice for all, but specifically justice for women. We are talking about those who have no voice, and among the poor, majority are women. Among those who are afraid to speak, majority are women. If I were to pay the fine and accept the verdict, I would say to women is that even if you are raped, you are uh, abused at home or in public, you just bite it, live with it, put your head down. That would be the wrong signal. For women who are battered, who are sold, who are facing such a challenge to access the court, I have to go all the way. The chance of being arrested, the chance of going to jail, for coming to America to talk about the women of Cambodia and their, their suffering, their violations of their human rights, will lead to very severe consequences. I am appealing to world polls to write to your senators, your congressmen, and to your government about the situation in Cambodia. The first thing you need to do right now is write to Secretary of State Hillary Clinton to urge her to uh, send a high delegation to Cambodia. She is committed, she has committed herself. We admire her courage. This is a call for help, a call for unity. I thank you. I thank you very much for taking uh, the time and um, giving me the space to speak on behalf of Cambodian women.